Hi all of you myself Dr Anand R Muchandi from the department of sharir rachna today we are going to discuss the hip bone the parts of the hip bone which is having mainly three parts the superior most of the part of the hip bone that is ilium this is antero inferiorly it is formed by the pubis and posterior inferiorly it is formed by the ischium and these three parts of the hip bone unite together at the acetabulum this is acetabulum a pit like structure which is united by these three parts of the bone that is known as acetabulum this acetabulum articulates with the head of the femur head of the femur and below to this acetabulum there is a obturator foramen a hole like structure that is known as obturator foramen and the other parts of the hip bone are the superior most part of the bone that is iliac crust this is iliac crust and it is bounded anteriorly by the anterior superior iliac spine this is anterior superior iliac spine and posteriorly by the posterior superior iliac spine and this anterior superior iliac spine which again having one more spine on the anterior aspect that is known as anterior inferior iliac spine this one anterior inferior iliac spine and again here also posterior inferior iliac spine is there and this posterior inferior iliac spine continues as a greater sciatic notch this is a greater sciatic notch and it starts from the posterior inferior iliac spine to the ischial spine this is a ischial spine this one ischial spine in between these two there is a greater sciatic notch and after this ischial spine here one more notch is there or curvature is there that is known as lesser sciatic notch lesser sciatic notch and now we discuss about the side determination of the hip bone so this is the uppermost part of the hip bone that is ilium should lie above the acetabulum this is a acetabulum this ilium should lie above the acetabulum and this is obturator foramen should lie below the acetabulum below the acetabulum and this is a acetabulum which is directed laterally which is directed laterally so by these three side determination points we can conclude that this bone belongs to the left sided of the body now we are going to discuss the anatomical position of the hip bone how we are going to hold it in a anatomical position so here this is the anterior superior iliac spine and this is the upper margin of the pubis these two should lie in a same coronal plane this is a coronal plane imagine this pen as a coronal plane and this is anterior superior iliac spine and this is a upper margin of the pubis should lie in a same coronal plane and next is this is a pelvic surface of the pubis this pelvic surface should face upwards and backwards this is upwards and facing backwards and this is a medial surface of the pubis this should lie in the sagittal plane or median plane 